oftentimes people experience past lives in other ways, not just through regressions or hypnosis. <clears throat> For example, in a dream. Sometimes what you dream about is a past life memory fragment and not a Freudian symbol or metaphor or distortion. Or perhaps you're traveling in a foreign country or city you've never been there before and you know your way around and you know where the old church was that burnt down in the 1800s and the secret room in that church and what happened. Well, that's, a, we call it deja vu past life memory that just being in the physical place evokes, stirs up and you have this deja vu and that's kind of a past life experience too. Or you meet someone and they seem so familiar to you as if you've known them for years and years, but you just met them. Well, this kind of recognition, a soulmate recognition, can also be a reflection of a past life connection. So many other non-hypnotic ways of having past lives as well. And so I think reading about cases can sometimes cause a resonance or just identifying with other stories can cause a resonance, can remind you of things, can stimulate things, and the healing can occur that way. It's the beginning of the journey. We have the opportunity tonight to actually go a little bit more directly. So hearing me talk about cases, that's one way. Reading about cases, that's another way. But to directly experience for yourself is yet another way. And we're going to do that now. So realizing that there are people sitting in this room and there are people watching uh, on their computers or in other ways, um, we're going to keep the lights on in this room. But the people watching at home, you should feel free to dim your lights or to f and to find a comfortable position. Now, in this room in Omega, we have these special chairs to help deepen your experience. At home, use a couch. But if you're going to fall asleep, for example, if you're watching in Europe or Asia and it's really late, do it sitting up rather than lying down so that you don't fall asleep. And getting very comfortable. Getting comfortable is very important. So loosen anything if it's too tight, making yourself comfortable. And I, I have some music that we're going to play too, so we can start that and find a, a good level for the music. And this will go on about 25 or 30 minutes. So getting comfortable is important. We'll make it lower, kind of background music to, to my voice. That's good. I think a little bit lower than that. Good. Okay. And finding a position of comfort. We'll be ready to begin. And just to reinforce for a moment, it's very safe. You can open your eyes at any time if you feel stressed or uncomfortable. Most people don't, but if this is the case, you should feel free to open your eyes at any time or go back to a beautiful garden that I'll describe or just float above any scene or experience and detaching from it, floating above any emotion as if you were watching a movie or something like that, so you're watching from a distance. And it may not be visual. Perhaps instead of seeing it, you just feel it or sense it, a kinesthetic type of experience. All of this is fine. Whatever comes into your mind, into your awareness when we do this exercise is fine. And I should also say that it will help to deepen your experience if you try not to think or to analyze or to use your left brain, not to critique it, don't analyze what comes up, just experience it. You can analyze it later, afterwards, but for now, 
Whatever you experience is fine. Try not to think, try not to critique or analyze or judge. Just experience it. Even if it seems unusual or silly, just experience it. Now this exercise is done best with the eyes closed. And so by closing your eyes, finding this position of comfort, and at first focus on your breathing and use your imagination. Don't be concerned with what might be imagination or fantasy or metaphor or symbol or actual memory or some combination of all of these things like in a dream. It doesn't matter. Whatever comes into your mind is fine. And so imagine that you can actually breathe out the stresses and the tensions that you store in your body. And imagine that you can breathe in the beautiful energy that is all around you. And so breathing out stress, breathing in beautiful energy, let your whole body relax deeper and deeper and relax all of your muscles, the muscles of your face and your jaw, so soft, so relaxed, letting go of all tightness and tension in these muscles and the muscles of your neck and shoulders relaxing completely. Sometimes people who carry too much responsibility in their lives, who carry the weight of the world on their shoulders, have tension and soreness on their shoulders. Just take this weight off. Relax your shoulders. Let go. Go deeper and deeper relaxed. Let my voice carry you deeper and deeper relaxed. But let any background noises or thoughts or distractions only deepen your level even more as they fade away. You can go very deep and relaxing the muscles of your arms and of your back, both the upper back and your lower back as you go deeper and deeper into a beautiful state of serenity and peace and calm. And this deep state of peace and calm is very, very healthy for you. Healthy for your body and healthy for your mind. To relax, to let go of stress, tension, to find this peacefulness which is always there for you, just below the surface. This is very healthy for you. And relaxing completely now the muscles of your stomach and abdomen so that your breathing stays perfectly calm and relaxing your legs so that only your chair or couch or floor or cushions or the wall supports you. Let go. Go deeper. It's very safe. Going deeper and deeper relaxed. And next, visualize or imagine or feel a beautiful light above your head. And this is a wonderful healing light. Healing because it gets rid of illness and disease and discomfort everywhere in your body. And it is a relaxing light, bringing you to a deep, deep level of relaxation and serenity. And it is a spiritual light connected to the light above and around you. And let this beautiful light, you can choose its color or colors, let this beautiful light come into your body now through the top of your head, illuminating your brain and spinal cord and healing these organs and flowing down from above to below like a beautiful wave of light touching every cell of your body, every fiber, every tissue, every organ of your body with peace and love and healing. And the light fills your heart, your beautiful heart, healing your heart at all levels, physical, emotional, spiritual, and your heart gently pumping this light to reach everywhere in your body, bringing incredible healing and peace and deepening your state even more. Let yourself go deeper. And the light fills all of the abdominal organs as well, healing these and restoring to perfect health. 
getting rid of illness, disease, and discomfort. And the light fills your back and heals the bones, organs, muscles of your back. Let the light be very strong, very powerful, wherever you need it for healing. And the healing will continue even after you are awake until it is completed and you are restored to perfect health. And let the rest of the light flow down both legs until it reaches all the way to your feet, bathing your body in its powerful healing energy. Let yourself go even deeper. And next, imagine or visualize or feel that the light also completely surrounds the outside of your body, as if you were wrapped in a beautiful bubble or cocoon of light. It wraps around you and heals your skin, protecting you completely and deepening your level even more. In a few moments, when I count down from 10 to 1, go so deep that your mind is no longer limited by the usual barriers of space or of time, so deep that you can remember every experience you have ever had whether in this body or in any other body or even in between physical bodies when you have been in the spiritual state. You can remember everything so deep that you can experience all levels of your beautiful multidimensional self because you are far, far greater than your body or your brain. You are a beautiful and immortal spiritual being. You are always loved. You are never alone. And you can never be harmed, not at this level. 10, 9, 8, going deeper and deeper with each number down. 7, 6, 5, deeper and deeper and deeper. 4, 3, a beautiful level of peace and serenity. Two, one. Good, in this beautiful state of calm, imagine now that you are walking into a beautiful garden, a wonderful spiritual garden filled with wonderful flowers and plants and other beautiful things. It is a garden that is a sanctuary for you, a haven a place of perfect peace, perfect safety, bliss, joy, love. And you find a place to rest in this beautiful garden. Your body filled with the light, the beautiful healing light, surrounded by the light, continues to heal, to recuperate, to rejuvenate. And the deepest, deepest levels of your mind can open up. You can remember everything. To show you this, let us begin going backwards in time. At first a little bit, and then more and more. In a few moments, when I count down from five to one, let yourself remember a childhood memory. If you wish, you can keep it a pleasant or happy childhood memory, or perhaps an important one. You can remember everything. Let this memory from when you were a child come into complete focus as I reach the number one. Don't try to edit, just allow yourself to remember. And whatever comes into your awareness is fine. Five, remembering a childhood memory, keeping it pleasant or happy if you wish. Four, Coming more and more into focus, you can remember everything. Three. Two, a childhood memory. One, be there with this memory and pay attention to any details such as location. Is this at home or someone else's home? A particular room or kitchen, inside, outside? 
on a trip, what do you become aware of? What do you look like? Whether it's visual or just feeling or hearing, smelling, tasting, or all of these senses is okay. If there are other people around, they may appear younger to you because they were younger then. And if you need to go deeper, to focus a memory even more, to remember in even more detail, just take a beautiful breath or two or three, and you'll remember even more. It will become even sharper, even better focus. However, if there's any anxiety, remember that you can just float above it, detaching and watching from a distance as if you're watching a movie, or even going back to the beautiful garden, or if you're very anxious, just opening your eyes. But if you're fine, if you're okay, stay with it, pay attention to details, breathe yourself deeper and deeper into the experience, into the memory, and experience this childhood memory once again. Perhaps something you have not thought about or remembered for a long time. Sometimes a childhood memory is connected to other memories from childhood. There may be a series or a pattern of connections and it is okay to remember these other memories as well. Whatever comes into your mind or not is fine, it is okay. Paying attention to details. And you can remember much, much more than a childhood memory. And so just float above this memory for, for now, feeling so free and so light, but you are still with the memory. And in your mind, just for a moment or two, let yourself understand the importance of this memory to you now. Why, from all of the hundreds or even thousands of memories that could have come into your mind, into your awareness, was it this one? Is it trying to tell you something, to remind you of something or someone? Why this memory? What is its importance to you now? And now we are ready to go farther back in time, back before your birth into your present body, when you were in utero, in your mother's womb, in the prenatal state. Many, many people have accurately recalled from this time and place. And even if you think it may be imagination or fantasy, let yourself nevertheless experience it, because oftentimes it's more than that. And so, as I once again count backwards, from five to one, go back to that in utero time, before your birth, the prenatal time, in your mother's womb, and just see if you become aware of any physical sensations or impressions, or sometimes emotions are present, yours or your mother's, because you are so closely bonded at this time, or even of your father's, because consciousness is not limited to the physical body or brain. Five, going back to the in utero, prenatal time. Four, whether imagination or fantasy or memory or metaphor does not matter. Three, do you become aware of any physical sensations or impressions? Let yourself become so focused when I reach one that you can answer that question. Two, nearly there. One, be there in utero, prenatal. What do you become aware of now? Are there any physical sensations or impressions? Perhaps some emotions are present. Yours or your mother's or even your father's. 
Sometimes spiritual wisdom is available at this time. Why are you choosing these parents and this life to come? What lessons are you coming back here to this earth school to learn and to master as you evolve along your spiritual path? Why are you choosing these parents, this life, these lessons, returning back here? In a few moments, when I count from one to three, go through your birth, but no pain at all, no discomfort at all, just to remember this important event, no pain no discomfort. One, being born, no pain, no discomfort at all. Two, three, you are out, you are born. And what do you become aware of now? Are there any differences in noises or temperature or people being around? Perhaps your mother is there or your father or both. How does it feel? Feel the love that's there at this time. Life was so much more simple at this moment. Just pure love. You didn't have to perform, earn. It's just there. Perhaps you have forgotten. And now just float above this scene once again feeling so free and so light, and we are ready to go farther back in time, back into a past life, or even into a spiritual dimension, if that is what you need to experience. And so as you float above this scene, back in this beautiful space, imagine or visualize a beautiful door that is closed and this is a doorway into your past lives. On the other side of this beautiful door is a magnificent light that does not hurt your eyes. On the other side of the light is a scene or a person, an experience, a past life. Join this scene, this person, completely as I count down from five to one. And as I reach one, you will reach that scene, that person, that figure, that experience, that past lifetime, and join it completely. You can remember everything. Five, the door begins to open. You become aware of the beautiful light on the other side of the door, and this light pulls you to it. It attracts you. There's something for you to learn on the other side of this door, on the other side of the light. Four, you move through the light closer and closer to the scene, the experience on the other side of the light. Three, coming closer, more and more into focus, about to join the scene, the person, the experience. Two, nearly there now. One, be there. If you find yourself in a body, look down at your feet and observe the kind of footwear, if any, that you have on, whether shoes or boots or sandals or primitive footwear, animal skin or fur, slippers, or any other type of footwear, or perhaps nothing at all, just your feet. And pay attention to any detail, such as your hands, the size and shape and color, or the clothes you are wearing, if any, styles, textures, colors, Perhaps they indicate a particular historical time or culture. And pay attention to other details such as geography. Mountains, do you become aware of these? Or deserts or jungles or forests, oceans, rivers, or some other type of place. And perhaps of buildings or architecture or caves or structures, primitive, ancient, not so ancient. What do you become aware of? And if you find other people, observe how they are dressed or what they are doing. And if you get close enough to another person, observing their face or their eyes or sensing their energy, do they seem familiar to you? 
in any way? Do you know them? Do you recognize them? And you can move forwards or backwards through time in that experience, in that lifetime, to learn even more. In a few moments, when I count from one to three, go to the most important or significant event or events of that life, the most important or significant event or events. One, two, three, you are there. Another important time in that life, in that experience. What is happening to you? What do you become aware of? Are there other people around? And if so, do you recognize or know them? Do they seem familiar to you in any way? Explore even more in that experience. Perhaps there are other details or memories events in that life, in that time, that will help you to understand, to heal. In a few moments, when I again count from one to three, Go to the very end of that lifetime, to the very last moments or the last day, but with no pain, no discomfort, just to remember how you left that time, that place, that experience. No pain, no discomfort. This is about learning. No pain, no discomfort. The very end, one, two, three, you are there. Don't think, don't analyze, don't critique, just experience it. What is happening now? Are there other people around? Often there are at these important times. What do you become aware of? And now just float above that scene, above that body. Perhaps you can look down and observe the scene that you have just left, the physical body that you have just left. And in your mind, just for a few moments, let yourself understand the lessons of that experience, of that lifetime. What did you learn from it? What were its lessons for you? And how do those lessons connect to you now in your current life? What are the connections? Does this help you to understand something or someone? What are the connections? Imagine now as you float in this beautiful space and now you feel free and light. You've left that body, that time, that place. So free, so peaceful, so light, understanding its lessons and the connections. And imagine that a beautiful spiritual being, however you conceptualize this, a beautiful spiritual being, like a master or a guardian or a guide or an angel or a bodhisattva or an enlightened spiritual being or a loved one who loves you unconditionally, someone very, very wise and very loving comes to visit you as you float in this beautiful space. Imagine that you can communicate with them, whether in words or thoughts or images or visions 
or mind-to-mind -mind contact or in any other way, you can communicate. Are there any messages for you? Is there any knowledge, wisdom, an understanding that will help you to remove any blocks and obstacles to your inner peace and joy and happiness in your current life? What do you need to know to feel happier and more joyful? What do you need to understand? Can they tell you? Can they show you? Are there any messages for you? And soon it will be time to return to full waking consciousness. But you'll remember everything that you experienced, the childhood memory, the in utero experience if you had one, what happened on the other side of the door, the light, the messages, the wisdom, the knowledge, and most importantly, that you are a spiritual being. And so saying goodbye to your spiritual friend for now. But they are always with you. They are always there. Even when you are not aware, they are there. You are always loved. You are never alone. And now rejoining your body in the garden, your body filled with the light has been healing and recuperating and restoring. And it's filled with a beautiful, peaceful energy. So soft, so beautiful. And now, feeling yourself back in your body, back in this room or at home, wherever you are, completely grounded in your body, grounded in your body, I will bring you back to full waking consciousness in complete control of body and mind, awake and alert, by counting up from one to 10. And with each number up, you'll be more and more awake, more alert. By 10, completely awake and alert in full control of body and mind, feeling great, filled with this beautiful, soft energy, remembering everything that you just experienced, all the way back. One, two, three, gently awakening now. Four, five, six, more and more awake and alert, feeling great feeling wonderful, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, good. Let your eyes open and stretch if you feel like it. And come all the way back. We'll stop the music. And come all the way back, back to full waking consciousness. Good. And that went on about 30 minutes. I didn't time it exactly, but in that range. If it seems shorter to you, it's because there's often a time distortion in these deeper states. Or if you feel colder, sometimes body temperature can drop, and that's all normal. So we won't be able to take a poll of the audience watching through the internet or on television, but we can ask people in this room how many of you were able to have a childhood memory at all? Just even a glimpse of it, just show me your hands. And that's a tremendous number of people, about 95%. And some fell asleep, so they wouldn't be in that group. I heard some snoring, not from home, they all stayed awake, but only in this room. And how many of you, again, showing me by hands, were able to have any sort of in utero, or in the womb, prenatal experience at all. Well, very good. In this room, about a third, which is a lot of people. And this is the most difficult part because it's a little bit um, less precise and more vague. And how many of you had an experience on the other side of the door? Okay, more than half of this room, which is great, Great, more than half. So 50%, more than 50%, and at home it would be similar because it really doesn't matter where you are. In this room, 
uh, special to have you so close, but actually it's the same on the other side of the camera. So they can have experiences too, and about 50% or more did, which is a tremendous number of people. And that's, that's remarkable, really. And if you didn't have an experience, it can take practice. This is the first time for many of you, not for others, but practicing is very important because the more you practice, the deeper you go, the more experiences you have. You get into a deeper level and your mind starts letting go of its usual blocks or obstacles or resistances like, oh, I'm going to give up control. Well, you find out it doesn't matter. You're always in control anyway. Or I don't want to find out about that. Maybe I was a bad person in a past life. Well, we've all been second graders and third graders in this one-room schoolhouse that we call the Earth School. And that's okay. The important thing is the direction, that you become more compassionate, kinder, more loving, non-prejudiced, non-violent people. That's our purpose. That's our evolutionary direction. And that's what's important.